Welcome back to Houston. I, should we do it? Maybe. I, you know what? I'm a GM of the people. The people are saying to try and get Kirill. I saw a couple comments for it. I'm not going to try very hard, but I will try. And yeah, um, I'll, I also know that if we wait till free agency is over, because we don't really need studs, then there's some players that have really good contract deals because nobody wants them and no one can afford them. So um, I'm going to basically just try to give Kirill the thrill exactly what he's looking for. If he says no, then so be it. And Thatcher Demko, he's actually 30 now. Okay, and then Swayman's 27. Okay, well, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Advance a day, and let's see. If first of all, we get that coach, and second of all, oh, you suck. All right, let's try to get him again. Let's try to get him again. Ah, no, don't do that. I'm going to offer him a lot of money. I'm going to give him an offer he can't refuse. Coaching staff. What do you mean you're like the size of our market? What's your problem, buddy? All right, here you go. Yeah, I'm going to offer you... Let's give you a four point... I can do whatever I want, I think. I don't think there's a budget. So let's give him 4.5 and see what he says to that. Okay. He better say yes. That'd be elite. I think it'll help our chemistry big time. Okay, advance a day. Advance a day. This guy! I should have interviewed him. Okay, Esteban Teal signed his contract. So that's done. Um, no thank you. And... Oh, he went with the Penguins. Okay, we didn't get him. I guess they offered him a lot of money. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to try to get this guy again. I'm not giving up. You know what? I'm going to give him all the money in the world. I'm going to give him $5 million. $5 billion. He's gone. I love that for me. Great. Okay, well, 63%. We have a 67, which is pretty good. I'll take the, the 67 but he's only a B. And he's not even... Oh, my word. Actually, we need an associate coach, don't we? No, we need an assistant coach. No, wait. Okay, this guy's our interim head coach. So... He's our associate coach. Okay, you're being promoted to assistant coach. That'll work. And then that other guy can be the associate coach, I guess. Right? Am I wrong? He is an associate coach. But is this the guy we couldn't get before or we had before? He has, he looks very familiar. Okay, well, I'm going to give him a big bump on that contract. There you go. And then I guess I'll sign this guy who is also an A and has a 63 fit. Will he say yes? Don't know. Isn't this the guy we just fired? <laughs> it honestly might be. Long time no see, huh? Okay, well, I know I've definitely offered this guy a contract before at the very least. There you go. So an associate coach and a head coach. And then this guy is going to be our, I guess, NHL goalie coach for now. And then because I have to, I'm going to make him the interim head coach so it doesn't interfere. Maybe that's why the guy wouldn't sign. I don't know. He didn't say yes, though. He didn't say, oh, I would have, but, you know, he didn't do whatever. Okay, we got that guy. And what about the other coach? Okay, we got him as well. Nice. Let's sim to next season. And see what we can do with free... Okay, leave me alone. I guess no one went after Newhook, so we got him. <laughs> whatever that means, he's qualified and he was happy to accept our offer of whatever it was. Let's continue simming here. Get up to next year. Go to put our lines together. See what we have, what we don't have. And then maybe take a little peek at free agency to find the Island of Misfit toys that we can try to pick up. Okay. Um... I guess we'll do edit lines. Sure. So it wants the Benajai who's now 86, but I want boss up there. I don't care. I want, wow. This guy dropped to an 85. Are you kidding me? He'll go up again quick though. Uh, ooh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want him up there. I want boss, but it's a Benajad, though. He's also medium elite. You know, boss is listed as a second line forward 88 overall. That plus two is huge. And he is what player type? He is a power forward. And then we have playmaker, two-way forward. Hmm. Man, that's tough. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. We don't even need any players, really. We could maybe use a depth winger, but that's about it. I believe in this team. Let's go to our defense. Okay. Amazing. Love that. 
We could also use a defenseman. Um, Hag does not have the scheme fit whatsoever. So we'll try to get rid of Hag, I suppose. And pick up someone who hopefully has the scheme fit. Teal is already 87. He just absolutely hopped up. Great stuff. Wow, he's going to want a big contract. That's a little bit scary. And then new hook on top of that. Uh, we got him for one year at 7.5, apparently. Don't know how that happened, but okay. And that's about it. So let's try to get a defenseman to replace Hag. And let's try to maybe get a depth winger, depending on who's available and at what price. Okay, so I'm going to sim up to the season, and then I'm going to go check out the free agent list. See, look at this. 84 overall, second line, Ryan Strom wants 800k. And then we have Bjorkstrand here. He's a sniper. We could take a sniper, maybe. Have, like, a third-line snipe. He's also listed as a third-line scorer. Yeah, we could do that. Does he have... Uh, I don't know how to tell if he fits the scheme at all or not, though. Fits forward line, too, but we're not very confident about that. Okay, well, I'm going to try picking him up anyway, because he's making, like, nothing. So let's try to give him exactly what he wants. And then on top of that, we could try to find a defenseman and replace... Okay, so there's not any super solid defensemen here. We do need, I think, actually, hmm, maybe we'll make a trade for a defenseman. Or we'll call someone up, one of the two. I also need to try and sign some AHL guys here. So let's go to the two-way contracts and sort by overall and see what we can get here. Uh, we did need a defenseman, so sure, I'll bring you in for one year. And we needed one forward, so Pierlini, you can come in as well. Yeah, there you go. Let's just advance days here until we get all of the responses, and then we can go make sure that the lines are all good. The AHL team lost the first game. Okay, got him. And next. Okay, there we go. Bjorkstrand. Oh, we got Bjorkstrand as well. All right, let's edit the lines now and try to make this work. So preferred lines. I want Granlund up there. I do not want Bjorkstrand in the minors, believe it or not. Go to roster moves. He's getting called up immediately. Um, let's go to in the system. Bjorkstrand. Confirm. Boom. Yeah, he's now in the NHL. All right. Lovely. Good stuff. And I was going to try maybe playing this guy on defense. So this he's listed as a minor top six, but screw it. I'm going to try it anyway. Um, and then Hag. I'll try to trade him for a pick or something maybe. So let's go to in the system again. Everything... Should be okay down here. Let's do edit the lines. And we're going to do preferred lines. There you go. Grandland, you're moving up. And then I also want Stranges to get some time and Musty as well. So I'll play him on that first line there. Stranges can come up there. And yeah, that should be good. All right. HL forwards look good. HL defense. Um... Not so much, <laughs> but you know what? They get a plus one. We'll just see if it works out. We got low top seven and a medium top four. So yeah, let's uh, see what happens there. Hopefully it works for them. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'll take that. That is a thing of beauty. Three, one, one. Okay. Uh, not a whole lot of chemistry on offense there. And then the goalie's okay. NHL. We got Teal and Di Pietro, but I'm going to do... Best lines again now that we have Bjorkstrand in here. Okay. That is not what we're looking for. Ooh, that's not going to work either. Jones up on this line. We could move Bjorkstrand down to the fourth line. He could be a fourth line sniper. They'll never see it coming. And then we have... Yeah, that works. We'll do that. Why not? Boss, well, I guess we'll leave him on the second line. I don't know. And... I'm going to try bringing in... This guy. Come on. Fit the scheme. He gets a zero. I'll take it. I will take it. He actually fits both of them. He's green for both. Okay. Nice. Yeah, let's try to trade away Hag for like, I don't know, whatever pick we can get for him. And call it a day. I'm just going to do find a trade. I'm not even, I'm not about that right now. Here we go. Let's go to our defenders. And Hag, where are you? There you are. Select him and do find trade. What can we get? A third and a fourth. That's not bad. Third and a fourth. Uh, two fours. Okay. Uh, no. I would rather take the third and the fourth. 
Okay, we'll just... Carolina, maybe? Let's take Buffaloes. Accept trade. Third and a fourth. Thank you. There we go. Time to simulate the season. Let's do this thing. I was kind of thinking for my next franchise mode, if I do do a... Do-do. <laughs> Another one on NHL 22. Thinking about making it a... Should we bring in the other Zabinijad? No, I'm not going to do it. Um, decline it a trading block. I'm going to do like a fantasy draft one. I think that'd be kind of fun. I know I wouldn't be like the first person in the world to do that or anything, but I just think it'd be interesting, especially because of how often I do fantasy drafts. You know, what better way than to uh, use those skills in a real <laughs> franchise mode where I have to rock the team for several years. So yeah, that's going to work. We are blazing out of the gate here. Holy. And then we cool down real quick. Oh, yeah. We were <laughs> out in the sun getting burnt and someone ice bucket challenged us. You think it's going to be a good year for rookies? Okay, good thing we are not getting a high pick <laughs> at all. Roster management, whatever you say. All right, let's keep it going. Actually, you know what? I want to check the contracts. I want to see if we can re-sign Teal or Newhook on not 33 points in 25 games. Okay, we're absolutely flying out of the gate here. So new hook, he's still 86 overall, currently making 7.5, and I can't even extend him, and I'm not trading him either. No, that's not going to happen. You're staying right here. Nice try on you. And then we have Kavanaugh, who's coming up. I'm just going to offer him an extension. We still have $15 million of cap space left for this year, so I don't think we're really hurting for cap. He wants to resign. I'll give him 4.8, see if that works. And these guys, I'm not going to really re-sign them right now. We'll kind of wait and see what happens. Let's see how much Lundestrom actually wants. 2.8, yeah. We'll just find another player that was on the island of Misfit Toys and bring them back in after the real free agency is done. I will definitely bring back Jones, though, on that deal. That's really good. Suzuki, yeah, I'll give you one year, sure. See if it ends up working out. And then I want to go to our goalies because... Never mind. For some reason, I thought... Oh, we already signed Teal. Kind of... Okay, that's good. So we got Max Jones back. We got Suzuki. Kavanov. Ah, oh, my word. I can't speak. It's not just being pros anymore. It's also franchises. I can't speak in these either. But, uh, yeah, we got Kavanov back, which is nice. Pretty decent deal there. Look at that guy. Ha-ha. Screw you, buddy. Goes to the LA Kings and gets fired. That's what I thought. You absolute joke. You're a joke. That is amazing. You'll love to see it. I'm pretty sure that was him. Yep. Thank you for coming out. And look at our team. We don't need you as we go on like an eight-game losing streak. But we're still doing pretty good. Second in the division. Same amount of points. Colorado is having a great year this year. Thanks for new hook, by the way. Keep it going here. All right. Yeah, we are sort of falling back down. But, I mean, we're still doing real well. We're absolutely on playoff pace without a doubt. And uh, I wouldn't say President's Trophy, but it's also not completely out of the question if we can keep up this sort of pace. But there are other teams that are really slaying the league. So, yeah, it's unlikely. And then we go on these big losing streaks. That certainly does not help. So let's keep our trading block and enter the deadline. I don't plan on making any moves because we do not need anything. Yeah, Nico would be a 91 overall and he's on the block. He's got one year left. He's going to want a big deal. Uh, Dvorak, 87 overall. He's got three years left, but 8.2. Bertuzzi, I feel like he was on our team at one point. Maybe it was a fantasy draft and I'm losing it, but yeah. So, holy crap. I can't believe it. He sure's on the block. We could possibly get him, but I mean, we already have Barzell. We don't need him, you know? No, I'm not going to do it. There's no point. No point. We are doing... The entire season with this team. I believe in this team. We're going to get it done. Yep. Get me out of there before I make a decision that I should not have. And let's keep it rolling here. Right after the deadline, we are at 40 wins already. Things are looking good. Houston having an absolutely ridiculous season here. Two one nothing victories there. So back-to-back -back shutouts. And Ryan Getzlav gets canned by the Red Wings. That's a rough go. 44 wins now. So yeah, playoffs again, definitely happening. President's Trophy, definitely not happening. 
But uh, 50 wins. Come on. Win against the Knights. Win against the Knights. Yeah. A 50 win season, baby. And we have the Vancouver Canucks in round number one. Okay. Let's go to the HL team. How they killed it too. Good for them. See who got the most points. We didn't really get it. He jumped up to 80 overall. Look at this guy go. What a unit. Lysel up to 79. Hegel's at 80 again. Granlin only went up one. Pierlini's at 80. Musty at 78. I think he went up by one or something like that. Tau Cole at 80. The boys are just living it up down there. Strand just went up in overall. I swear I say his name differently every time. Um, Blumquist is 79. He's doing pretty good. This guy, um, not so hot. <laughs> but uh, he's trying. He's definitely putting his best effort forth. You know? Okay, so that's the AHL. Let's check out the... NHL. Can I switch that from here? I can. Perfect. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. I wanted player stats. Uh, 91 points from Barzell. There you have it. That is very good. Zabinijad with 70. He's up to 87 overall. Boss is at 88 and puts up 66 points with 47 tucks. Your future Rocket Richard winner right there. Uh, 24 goals and as well, 66 points from Olafson. Uh, Newhook did well. Heiskanen put up 58. All right. That is solid. Yeah. Love to see it. Kavanov still 84. He doesn't seem to be going up at all. He's kind of stuck. Robert Thomas is basically going to be like an 84, 83 overall player for us. And how'd this guy do? Okay. He went up to 75. He was a plus 12 and had 17 points. So wasn't a complete liability. Suzuki played one game. Okay. That's my bad. Whoops. <laughs> Just sat him the whole year. But you know what? He has not been growing anyway. I've been trying. And he is not going anywhere. Ah. Oh. No, I still feel bad about that. That's my bad. Who would we even take out for him, though? I can't send him. Can I send him down? Can you even send people down at this point? I don't know. I don't know all, like, those kind of rules. Let's see. Send him down to the AHL for the playoffs, perhaps. And... Um, I want to go, no, this isn't what I want to do. I want to do roster moves, not contracts, roster moves. Let's see. And I'll just sort by overall reverse. He'll probably be right there. Suzuki, no waivers. Okay. You're going down to the AHL. Sorry, man. I am very sorry for that. Our AHL team has a real chance at winning the Calder this year. I would say they look good. They look good. Let's go to the NHL again here. So Teal's at 87 and then we have... Zabinijad, so Barzal, Raymond, Newhook, Boss, and Olafson. Yeah, everything's looking good here. We have a good team. We have a very good team. And we still have cap space too, which is mental. Okay. Um, what should I look at? I guess we'll have a look at all the stats now. So we finished with 50 wins. Second in the division. One point behind the Knights. And they only had 49, but um, they had three more overtime losses. So let's go to the entire league. And we finished sixth. Very good. Carolina with 120. That is craziness. 56 wins. And also, Florida, they had 56 wins as well. Okay, let's scroll down here. Oh, my word. The 19th placed Ottawa Senators make it in with 40 wins. That is something special. Let's go to our stats now. Barzal put up 91. He was a dash 8, though. What's that all about? Um, we already looked at this, though. Yeah, we were already looking at this. I don't think we looked at the team standings, but um, we've already looked at this for the most part. We didn't get to the goalies yet, though. 909 and 274 for Teal. Um, four shutouts as well. Di Pietro with a 908, 269, still 85 overall. Um, he is actually listed as an elite goalie. There you go. That is huge. Yeah, both of our goalies did okay. Nothing great, but I would say they definitely got the job done. Uh, Spencer Knight killing it, 88 overall, 919, and a 235. Um, Pedersen, Peterson, sorry, <laughs> did it as well, and did well as well. Oh my word, I can't speak. To be honest, this is my fourth video in a row I'm recording, so um, you have to give me a little bit of a break on that. Teal's up there, which is nice to see. All skaters, 106 from Kane, Svetch with 103. There you have it. This is the top player's... For points, and we get um, a Rocket Richard for Patrick Kane. Let's go back to points and sort by defenseman. So Adam Boakvist, 89 overall. 
Puts up 74 points. Quinn Hughes with 70. 92 overall. Where's McCarr? There he is. I thought he'd still be up here. Yep, he's doing well. Drysdale's up there now, too, at 87. Good for him. Okay, there you have it. So our round one opponent is the Vancouver Canucks. I will see you then.